Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography. And today, for our one roll, one camera series, we have a special guest, the L2 camera. The reason why I decided to do this uh, introduction uh, is because uh, this is a really interesting project that uh, Vladimir Gorshanin, and I hope that I pronounced the name uh, correctly, uh, did on Akaday.io uh, page. I'm going to link uh, the uh, project page in the description below so that you can uh, go there and follow it up. This is a mix between uh, a twin reflex camera, in this case a Lubitel 2, and uh, an Instax back. In this case, what was used is uh, a Printos. If you don't remember or don't know what the Printos is, I have already reviewed uh, in the past, and uh, is uh, an Instax mini printer that you can use with your smartphone to print directly from the smartphone to an Instax Mini. And it works uh, completely manual, without any battery. So what Vladimir has done is to uh, create uh, an, a, a mix uh, between the uh, cameras and the uh, printers itself, and uh, 3D printed the whole body and the attach for the uh, lenses itself, as well, of course, the uh, viewfinder. And uh, I had the uh, honor to be one of the testers, and uh, I went to uh, Asaksa uh, this weekend to, uh, to take some uh, pictures that I have uh, here with me. And uh, I was amazed by the quality that uh, came out with this uh, uh, lens. And in this case, uh, this one is, uh, I think the pronunciation in Russia is Lomo, at least that is what it seems like, and uh, is uh, uh, 4, 5, 75. So it should be 75 millimeter, uh, 4.5 uh, uh, F value if I am correct in reading the numbers here. And uh, I'm going to show you the uh, picture uh, now. And uh, I have scanned that with my uh, Epson utilizing the uh, software that is directly on uh, uh, the Mac. Uh, but uh, again, the quality of the pictures really are amazing and uh, I'm afraid that uh, if you are not able to uh, catch them in the scan that I have uh, done. But uh, stop talking and let's go directly to check it out, uh, the picture.
and here we are back. Uh, so what do you think about uh, uh, the results? As I was mentioning before, I'm extremely, extremely satisfied with uh, what came out from this uh, small 3D printed, uh, uh, but not only, uh, camera. And I'm highly recommending you to uh, go to the uh, hackaday.io uh, L2 camera project page, so the one that Vladimir is uh, uh, keep updating with the information about uh, uh, the project that he uh, is doing, so that you can uh, help him contributing and uh, follow him up. Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Uh, I'm planning to keep using this uh, uh, camera and keep testing out in different situations, so stay tuned in uh, this channel and remember to uh, subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be notified for any additional and new video that I'm going to post in this channel. And that's all for me for today guys. I hope you liked the video and uh, as usual, till next time, stay click! Bye!